As we last left you here on Lakeland News, the Bemidji girls soccer team was in overtime tied up with Sartell in the Section 8A championship game, looking for back-to-back -back state berths, and things worked out pretty well. We'll show you how we got there in the second half, Sartell attacking, dribbling up. A long shot is going to come from about 25 yards out. She turns and fires a good shot, but Allie Beard is there for the save. There's no goals in overtime, so we head on to penalty kicks. First up for Bemidji, Harper Toward, cool as the other side of the pillow. She also scored Bemidji's only goal in regulation. Next up, Allie Beard's time to shine. She makes the save later in the penalty kicks. Three goals to one, Katie Alto. A goal gives them the win, tucks it past the goalie on the inside post. She runs to embrace her teammates. Bemidji wins, headed back to state in dramatic fashion, as this team has been known to do over the past few years. I thought that I was going to have a heart attack. It is so nerve-wracking. I'd almost rather take the PK than stand there and watch because all I can do is support my team, and that's what we did. We held hands, we prayed, and I don't... It was intense, let me say. I honestly don't have words for it. It's, it's amazing. Us and the boys winning on the same night at our home field. Uh, it's, wow, I just don't have words. <laughs> honestly, when the girl was just walking up, I was just watching her body language, and I just kind of knew where it was going. So, yeah, it was just, you know, good way to read body language on my part, I guess. I think it means progress. I mean, last year we went to state, we were nervous. We have most of our girls back, and... Uh, you know, they, of course, winning sections was a humongous goal, but uh, we'd also like to play at the U.S. Bank Stadium, so that's the next big step uh, we'd love to see happen for us. Now the dates, times, and opponents for the Boys and Girls State Tournament will be determined tomorrow. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.